boom, here I am. This week at Coffee and Tools, I want to talk a little bit about a one-trick pony. It's storage. Storage is a huge problem in a workshop. My workshop right now is overflowing. I don't like, I'd like to have more space than I have. And there's a couple of crazy little things that I can do to help improve the situation. And there's a trick I've done over the years and I'm going to show it to you today because uh, I'm going to install it and it adds some storage or at least gets some of the stuff out of my way. And my biggest problem right now is my project bench right here is nothing but paint cans, paint supplies, paint brushes, stuff like that. The paint job is finished, it's over with, but I have no place to store this stuff right now. So that's what we're gonna tackle today. And uh, we also have that contest coming up. Uh, I believe Sunday morning is when we're gonna be doing the uh, mix up all the emails and, and draw for the uh, Verizon hotspot next week. Another prize coming up, of course. I think it'll be another Verizon hotspot, as a matter of fact, but we'll see when we get there. Right now, uh, One Trick Pony storage. Storage in a shop or in a garage like this. I'll show you a place where you have dead space. You can't really do much with it, but you can turn it into storage, and it's like, it's a cool, simple idea, but it works. Let's get to it. Yeah, so as I was saying, Hey, we're back. <laughs> As I was saying, one of the things that I like to do is uh, create some storage. And I'm going to show you a trick, I guess we'll call it. But let's come on over here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you this one here. This one's kind of creepy. But uh, this is right here over this sink. And what it was was an old uh, TV shelf. And it had, it had its purpose in its day. But uh, I don't really need a TV shelf in my, uh, in my workshop. Yeah, I just, I just don't really need that. So uh, what I was looking at, and I've done this before in the past, and it works really great because it's just a, a dead, I guess we'll call it dead space, right? You know I mean? That's, that's the only way to describe it. So we're going to come up here to the corner here. I'm going to show you right over the doors. You have these frames and stuff, and they have these dead corners. Of course, lots of cobwebs, and there's really nothing else you can do with that. Well, I bought a board at Lowe's yesterday. I so happened to have a nice little shelf board. And this is a cheapie. Uh, this is kind of like that butcher block style kind of pine board strips. They're all glued together. And I'm not even going to use this size, I don't believe. I think we're going to size it up for paint cans. But what I'll do is using some, uh, some braces for shelving that will be basically on the upside of the shelf. We'll be putting that like this up in the corner and right over the door. Matter of fact, uh, if I do this right, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you can just about put a weight up there and the shelf will just about, like magic, <laughs> it'll hold itself up there right now. If I put some weight back there in the corner a little bit too, it'd probably help to hold it. But that is wasted space in a garage for me that's not going to do me any good, but over a doorway especially or uh, over a window. Well, if you look around towards the ceiling, you'll see right above things. Uh, another one is like right above my uh, electrical panel on the wall. You really can't do much with that space, but you can put a shelf up and put little stuff like the like oil uh, cans, uh, paint cans, uh, any sort of small stuff you want to store, uh, depending on the height, of course. I mean, even like crazy cleaners and stuff, you can store this stuff. So it's kind of cool. I, I like it. It's It helps, you know, it, it just helps. So that shelf will go up there like that. And then I can put all the paint supplies, the brushes, the uh, trays, you know, junk that you only pull out maybe once a year or maybe even less than once a year, but you can put it all up there and you'll have some, you know, it'll just, it'll just give you some space. Uh, one of the things I really hate is big deep shelving like that right there. That is huge headaches and I really don't like it even being in here. Uh, I might change it at some point in the near future. But storage right now is at a premium in here because if you've been watching the show at all, I've got an old shed and then we're going to rebuild the old shed and that'll become storage for garden tools, stuff like that. Some of the garden tools are actually out in that poor, ugh, nasty old shed. Uh, next episode, we're going to take a look at the shed and see where we're at right now because we're not doing a lot with it because I've got a building coming in. When the building gets here, that will open up even more storage. I like to see this two car garage down to the point where maybe even be able to pull a car in here. Ooh, the dream. Ooh. What's all that racket I hear? Hmm. But um, so today we're going to be looking at this. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is, is uh, size the shelf up. So here's the board, and 
this is the big old paint cans that we have and as you can see they take about a little bit better than almost half I could actually cut this in half and use it like that but the paint cans would probably you know overhang a little bit uh, up there so the paint can in this case is a little over just a hair over that's a good measurement hair over six and a half inches and the total on this is 12 so if I cut this to six I would have a half inch of paint can overhanging my shelf like that and to tell you the truth that wouldn't even bother me that much because really ideally um, half inch overhang you know so what the only thing is from the floor area you want to be able to look up at the shelf and see the paint can and go oh there's the there's the paint can I'm looking for or paint cans in this case and uh, the other thing I like to store up here with the paint of course is a uh, always store an opener yeah I can't imagine why and of course any paint supplies you know I'd want on the shelf this one takes the whole shelf so ideally I wasn't going to do this I was going to you know cut this down but because of things like this and, and having the you know brushes up there stuff like that maybe some you know, maybe some foam block you can see I'm going to use the shelf but I'm going to need the depth not for the paint cans but what I can do if I put the paint cans like that I can put that long uh, lights like those uh, LEDs or those big strip lights and stuff I can store them up in, behind the paint cans and it'll have a you know it'll get them off the floor and give them a place to be kind of thing so that's what we're going to work on today let's get this shelf up there and get it nailed into where it'll support and hold the uh, paint cans and whatever let's go find a ladder so anyways uh, one of the things that we're going to need is uh, a one at least one shelf bracket I'm lucky here because I've got the frame of the other on the other door so that will support it like a shelf bracket I have one shelf bracket left over from a project last year that I, I had to take the shelf down in my shirt in the new shop here at the new house and I, I ended up with one metal shelf bracket well you can put this like this upside down you don't have to have it necessarily like this with shelving on top you can also do it this way but make sure you get a good screw that's going to bite the shelf good and of course you know up into the wall or whatever and that'll hold the shelf this way as well and you can put stuff on the shelf this becomes a little bit of a an annoyance i guess but it's not bad it's it'll just keep the the look you know relatively clean but i'm going to take a look at a couple of ideas i might be able to put the shelf bracket and uh, here i'll show you might be able to do something like that but then you've got all that cantilever out there with only the support of the frame of the door I've got all this support back in the corner so I really don't need anything back here to hold but obviously you can't screw it to the door so one of the tricks I used to do was sometimes was I would turn these things upside down basically and use them this way towards the end where I can find some lumber to you know screw into and again the other secret of course always make sure you're, you hit a 2 by 4 or something to hold the shelf bracket you don't want the mess coming down on you and I don't believe in those crazy plastic plugs for uh, uh, drywall or the toggle bolts even I am not fussy on that stuff at all but I do like to hit lumber and when I hit lumber I know I've got I've got it made I'm like I'm there you know I started filming this and I was filming me putting the shelf up and putting the paint cans on the shelf all that didn't get recorded so I don't know what happened but, uh, the uh, situation, I guess we'll say, we'll make the best of it. I'm not going to uh, recreate the situation, but there's another beautiful paint can. Now, there's one other place here that uh, we could uh, sneak some more space. I could have been a little bit longer here. Uh, I could come across here, but I'm not, I'm not planning on it. At least I'm not going to, but uh, I did want to show you guys this is a you know a spot where over a doorway or something uh, you can easily you know go over a doorway and and have this so uh, just thought I'd throw that one out we're right now we're getting ready I'm gonna start building the ramp for the storage for the the big nasty shed that I'm gonna be rebuilding so thank you for watching coffee and tools like thanks and subscribe and hey what a great weekend Wow